Buona Pasqua! A pista! And I'm here with my good friend Citali. I'm gonna cook a fantastic Easter lamb. Okay, look at it, this beautiful leg of lamb. This is about one and a half kilo, so fresh, so good. What we need to do, we're gonna have a little scoring. Not too deep, as you can see, all along, right at the end. That's good. We need to put some more oil on top. Let me tell you why I'm putting some oil on top, just a little bit, because it's getting enough fat all around. Because if I do this, okay, and I put some salt on top, and I put some ground pepper on top, so it stays, look, it stays on top. If I didn't put the oil on top, it would run right through. So and then you rub it right on top, make sure everything goes in, look. Ah, yes. Look all, all the seasons, salt and pepper side right through. Now, put them inside of a, a large pot, yes. Just put the leg inside, so simple. This is almost done. It's about 200 gram of uh, olives with a stone. It's just look, put them on top. But before you put them on top, just let it go round and everywhere. Memory. My God, I never forget. I used to do this dish in Puglia. In Puglia, there's a lamb almost everywhere. And this particular one, I done it in a small village which is called Albero Bello. The house is one on top of the other, the small truly there. They're calling me truly because they're round, they used to be the old farmhouse. They're round, 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 made by stone, one on top of the other. Actually, Puglia, the table of Italy, where all that beautiful weed for making bread grows, where the fantastic city of Barletta, where the lovely Bari, which is the main town with all the monuments. Oh, there's so much. Right. Back to cooking, too much memory. It's such a beautiful memory. You need about four large fillets of anchovies. This is what will give it a fantastic flavor of salt. And you think, hold on a minute, what do you cook? Lamb with anchovies? Yes, it goes well, believe me. People are afraid to eat anchovies because they think they can taste fish. They don't. Once you cook, you don't taste. You taste that lovely salt. Again, wrap them on top nicely. Goes everywhere. Just to let it go inside a little bit. <sighs> That's so good. Two cloves of a garlic. Just crush it. And you remove everything. Just put them in, inside. Here, I got about 12, 15 shallots. Just peel it, leave them all. Just put them all around. That's good, that's so good. And the splash of wine. Look at this wine, it is right through. At least a glass of wine. Glass and a half for me, go on. That's good. Then you put them inside the oven. Temperature for start, 200. It need to be hot. As Soon as you put them in at 200, you turn down to 150. Let it cook for about one hour, at 20, one and a half hour. Halfway over the cooking, actually three quarter way over the cooking, the last half hour you put inside 250 gram of uh, fresh peas or frozen peas inside and let it cook and then again check it and base it, base it, base it. After that you're gonna see. Well cooked. This is a nice way to serve it. Then it gets all the juice, everything. While you're basing, let it rest for at least five minutes because you want that meat to settle down with all the flavor inside. And this is the way we serve in Italy. It's all simple. Let me slice to let me show you what it looks like inside. You want it cooked. Perfectly cook, but you want a little bit pink. See, I cover this way because look at that inside. Just look inside. It's 
perfect Easter flavor. If you want to see me cooking more of this fantastic dish, don't forget, citalia.com. <laughs>